Yeah, any as you who may have been worried about my health, I sort of thought a little bit about it myself. So, uh, yeah, I mean, these disposable overalls, they're sort of a multi-use thing, not a single-use one. They're sort of all made out of plastic, basically. Um, but they've got like a... like a breathable fabric stuff um, inside it sort of thing, so that you don't sort of have it stick to you like a bloody shower curtain or something like that. Um, the other one I got is... cartridges for the um, filter uh, for the mask. Oh, I used to have a mask when I done my spray painting apprenticeship. Um, that was an older style one. It was a bit harder to breathe out of, but it's a good quality one, 3M. Um, and when I was working at the chook farms later on, <sighs> When you're loading these chooks up to go out, they haven't really bothered putting any more new sawdust in um, for them for the last four weeks. And as a result, you know, there's quite a bit of shit built up. And they let it build up because it's just a waste of sawdust if you're just about to send them out in trucks anyway. Um, and, of course, once the trucks go, the next day's job is to you know, dig all the shit out with the little front end loaders they used to have there. Um, but basically, the ammonia was absolutely overpowering because of the amount of shit there. It basically would all, I don't know, react or whatever. Um, and you'd have ammonia on your breath for an hour and a half, two hours after, um, almost like whiskey on your breath, alcohol on your breath. You'd have ammonia on your breath for hours after, so, and that didn't go too well with me, so I ended up um, getting a 3M silicon filter, which um, is obviously a newer model than I originally had when I done my apprenticeship, um, and it's a lot easier to breathe through and everything. So I thought, well, I might as well give it a wash out on the weekend and, and bang these ones on, because these ones are made for herbicide, which is what I'm spraying there. Alrighty, sort of got my other hand full here, so make it a bit of wind noise as usual. What you're seeing here is the results of the thicket being sprayed. Uh, as you can tell, I can't reach quite high enough. You know, you get one on the end like this, you've only got a little tuft of green left there. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty pleased. Actually, I'm quite surprised. I knew it killed it, but when you go around and do a whole big patch, yeah, you know you're on the right path. Now, unfortunately, all the God, blimey, it's so steep here. The middle didn't quite get done. Um, that's because I couldn't reach it. This may be one of those ones where you got to spend two years doing it. Um, I'm trying to block the microphone here. Because it's sort of one of these things where there's you can get the outside but you can't get the inside so I might need to have a second run next year at it hopefully I'll burn those ones that are dead maybe kill the ones beside it but I don't think I'll really wipe out the whole damn lot of them in one hit so it might be a two year exercise or something like that and I thought I'd just show that show where we're at Blowing a microphone.